What's up, guys? Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer. So I'm recording this on Sunday afternoon here in Columbia, South Carolina, a sunny day here in Columbia. And it's a Sunday, so that means a lot of people are getting ready to watch some football. So what better beer to review right now than the Unknown Brewing Company's pregame session ale. So uh, the notes from the brewery say, you wake up and that first thought is, today is going to be a big day. It may be a tailgate, a pontoon party, a wedding, or it may be getting ready to run with the bulls. The fact remains you've got to get ready for the big day or prepare for a long night. It's time to pregame. Pregame is a session ale. This, this means this beer has great drinking potential. At 4.5% ABV, it beholds all the craft flavor that you crave, but stays away from being too heavy. This beer is golden in color and low in bitterness. Hops do come through in a sweet piney aroma that makes the end of every, every sip sound like game time. Let's check it out. Nice golden color as advertised. Maybe a finger's worth of head and a few bubbles shooting up the glass, but not many. So not a lot of carbonation overall. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. At the forefront of it is really a, a, a grainy, bready malt backbone. A whole, whole lot of bready, yeasty notes are at the forefront. It is quite light beer as advertised, um, but still tons of flavor. In addition to the brightness, getting some, some toastiness, some toasty malts, maybe kind of generating a little bit of a, a caramel type thing or a, a burnt sugar kind of a kind of a, a flavor towards the, the back half of the of the drink. Again, not a ton of body. I'm really pretty straightforward overall, not super complex. Excuse me, and this being a, a session ale, you wouldn't expect too, too much out of it. Yeah, nice uh, spicy note coming through a little bit as well. Uh, I think it's being generated kind of from the from the the, the brightness and the uh, the brightness and the, the toastiness combined. Um, again, straightforward, uh, really tasty, and um, yeah, good stuff. In terms of a session ale, the, the flavors are actually pretty bold, I find, um, and I think that's a little surprising for a, a session ale and maybe something that would uh, knock this beer a little bit for that for that kind of a, a style. I, I would find session ale if you want to be... Um, not just low in ABV, but relatively mild in flavors. You want you want something there, but you want something fairly mild in flavor so that your palate doesn't get fatigued as you drink uh, multiple. That's kind of the idea of a session, is to be able to have multiple ones in a session. Um, a lot of good flavors, but I can see them fatiguing the palate after uh, a little while. But yeah, br bready notes. In the in the front, and then uh, kind of going more toasty and burnt sugar in the uh, the back half. Uh, pretty solid beer overall from the Unknown Brewing Company in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All those links will be in the description below. And if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.